my husband, we got this email, wants me to do things I don't want to do. And my name is Paul Friedman. I founded the Marriage Foundation. And we're going to get into this in a very different way. Because the way we approach things in marriage is always based on principles. And I'm going to be sure to give you things that you can do that will really make sense. We're not just going to talk about your husband. You know, that's usually what happens. Like if you were to go to a therapist, if you're seeing a counselor and you were to tell them my husband and they would get into this and they would unravel him and they would call him maybe a narcissist these days. Uh, who knows? Who knows what they would say? But they wouldn't make it about you. They wouldn't give you something that will help you become more centered that would help you become happier, that would help you deal with this in a way that empowers you. And our approach at the Marriage Foundation is very different. Our approach at the Marriage Foundation is basically based on two main things. One, we want you to be happier every day of your life. And if you were to read either of my books or take my courses, even just subscribing to this channel, you will see that theme runs through everything that we do. We want you to be happier and we give you the tools to do it. The other thing, very important, what's happened in our world? I want you to experience the love that you wanted to experience when you signed up to get married. So there's no question that your marriage is off track. Almost everyone's is because we're not learning what we're supposed to. So something like this comes along where your husband wants you to do things that you don't want to do. And you're so frustrated. You're beside yourself. You don't have the communication skills for one thing to let him know in a good way that that's crossing a line. I don't want you to confront your husband. It would be the absolute worst thing you could do. Men are very sensitive creatures. You don't tell a man no by telling him no. I mean, I'm not talking about if he wants you to kill somebody. I'm talking about in normal day to day, you got to be very careful with your husband's ego. There's nothing wrong with being careful about your husband's ego. This is not about your husband's ego. This is about how you love him. And you don't want to hurt his feelings. Because what do you want in your marriage is that love and happiness. And if you step on his toes, that's not what's going to happen. So it's very important to not do certain things. You don't want to confront them, nor obviously do you want to just completely ignore this. You can't do that either because what I'm hearing from this, and I didn't read the whole email, I'm, I'm hearing that he wants you to do something sexually, perhaps, that you don't want to do. It makes you feel uncomfortable. You have a right to feel uncomfortable. It's your body, but I'm going to give you a different perspective here than just, it's my body. I'm going to give you a perspective that we don't talk about in society because there's this avoidance of all things spiritual. People are afraid to talk about spiritual things. Well, in my book, and I don't mean the ones I've written, if you can't talk about spiritual things, you can't talk about marriage. What is more spiritual than marriage? So what, here's a good way to approach this. When he wants you to do things that you don't want to do. Do you have kids? What do you do when your kid wants something? I'm sorry, when your child wants something that you don't want them to have. 
they're two, three, four, five years old, you replace, right? You say, oh, you know, this might hurt you, but here, play with this. Oh, look how much fun this is. Now, what's more fun for your husband is what's going to be more fun for you too. Because it's going to deepen the love affair that you should be having with your husband. Love affair. So what you want to do is you want to transform the sexuality in your marriage into true love making. I'm not just using that word as a replacement. The problem is that in our society, it seems that we can't handle true love making because we can't handle true love. Western psychologists see love as an abstract thought, and it's not. Abstract thought means it's something that we imagine, we conjure up, as opposed to something that is tangible. Well, true, you can't touch, smell, taste, hear, feel, love with your five senses. And yet, on the other hand, love is the most tangible, real thing ever. Why? Because we're souls. And as a soul, you are a chip off the old block. The old block being God. Pardon the familiarity. But you're a soul. You're housed in a physical body. You own a physical body. And you have a mind. And you're supposed to use those two. We're supposed to use our bodies and our minds to express our soul, our heart, if you will, our love. And that's where it's at. So you want to learn how to transform these desires for entertaining sex, sex just to get off, sex just for the sensory pleasure, you want to transform it into a bridge between the souls. You want to use your sexuality to do that. And you can do that. I'll give you one simple way right now. Okay? And it may scare you a little bit to do this, but do it anyway. Honey, let's do an experiment tonight. Let's have a sexual experiment. Go, whoa, what do you got in mind? And you tell them say, I learned today that if we connect our hearts, it will expand and we'll have more pleasure from this sex than we've ever had before. Why not try it? What do we have to lose? Because it doesn't mean I'm not going to stroke your neck, kiss you. It doesn't mean I'm not going to be sexual also, but I want to look in your eyes and I want to hear you tell me, honey, I love you. And I'm going to tell you, honey, I love you. And instead of us going for an orgasm, let's see if we can visualize and feel our hearts connecting. Some people are going to poo poo this. They're crazy. They have no idea what they're missing. Most of us don't have any experience in this area, so it's going to take some trial and error. But trust me, it's so worth it. So that's it. Doing things your husband wants you to do? No, you don't have to. Exchange. Give him something else. Give him real love, because that's what you want to. And that's what we want for you. The Marriage Foundation is a nonprofit foundation. We have a free service where we'll respond to your questions. Our counselors will. You could leave a comment. I'll respond to the comments. And we're here for you. We want you to have a marriage like you've never even imagined. So thanks for spending time with me. God bless you. Take care.